Goldie Hawn is one of the great actresses of her generation. She began her career in the 1960s, and it was her role in Cactus Flower which helped her career take off. She's considered an icon of American cinema, but she's not as busy as ever. She has largely stepped out of the limelight and does have some regrets about her career. But she's got a fascinating story, and let's reflect upon it. Join Facts First to learn about how Goldie Hawn is 77 years old and filled with regret. Goldie Hawn has worked in the industry for over five decades, and it's safe to say she's a living legend. But of course, her journey didn't start at the top. Goldie was born November 21, 1945, in Washington, D.C., to Laura Steinhoff and Edward Rutledge Hahn. Both her parents were involved in music, and she took an early interest in performance and entertainment from a young age. Her early career began with her studying ballet from age three. She was a talented dancer and was originally considering pursuing dancing as a career. But Goldie eventually shifted her focus to acting, and in 1964, she made her professional debut on the television show Good Morning World. Her bubbly personality made her stand out, and she quickly became a familiar face on television. In 1967, she landed a regular role on the popular comedy variety show Rowan and Martin's Laughing. The show was a huge success and made Goldie a household name. Her work in the show paved the way for her transition into film. Her first film role was in the 1968 comedy The One and Only, Genuine Original Family Band, where she played a supporting role. But her breakthrough came in 1969 with her performance in Cactus Flower. In the film, Han played a young woman who's in love with a dentist who is married and has kids. Her performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, and she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. The film, despite its huge success, brought her something that has filled her with regret. But we'll get to that later. After Cactus Flower, Goldie Hawn became a sought-after actress, appearing in successful films throughout the 70s, including There's a Girl in My Soup, Butterflies Are Free, and Shampoo. She also starred in the hit comedy Private Benjamin in 1980, which earned her another Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. In addition to her successful acting career, Hahn has also worked as a producer and director. She founded her own production company, Cosmic Entertainment, in the 80s and produced several successful films including Protocol, Wildcats, and House Sitter. She also directed the films Hope and Beautiful. Goldie Hawn's Career Throughout her career, she starred in a variety of films showcasing her talent in a variety of genres. Here are some of her best. Private Benjamin. In this film, Goldie played a spoiled socialite who joins the army after her husband dies on their wedding night. Her performance was both hilarious and touching, earning her an Academy Award nomination. The film was a box office success and remains a classic comedy. Death Becomes Her. This dark comedy saw Goldie Hawn play a vain actress who will stop at nothing to maintain her youthful appearance. Goldie's performance was both campy and chilling, earning her critical acclaim. The film was a box office success and has also become a cult classic. The First Wives Club In this film, Goldie starred alongside Bette Midler and Diane Keaton as three middle-aged women seeking revenge on their ex-husbands. Her performance was hilarious and touching and considered to be one of her finest. Snatched. This was one of her most recent films as it was released in 2017. She was in her 70s and showed she still had it. In this comedy, Goldie played a cautious mother who reluctantly goes on a vacation with her wild daughter, played by Amy Schumer. Hahn's performance was both funny and touching, showcasing her ability to still bring her A-game to the screen after decades in the industry. She's 77 years old today and filled with regret. Goldie Hawn recently expressed her regret over retiring from acting. In an interview with Variety, she revealed she wished she had continued acting rather than largely stepping away from the industry in the mid-2000s to focus on her family and philanthropy work. One of her major regrets was that she didn't get to attend her first Academy Awards, where she won the award for her acting in Cactus Flower. That's because she was in London filming for another film. But even if she had been free, she might have still missed out on attending the ceremony. She still wasn't sure she'd win. In fact, she didn't think she stood a chance. After all, she was a new actress. One of her biggest regrets has been not attending the event to collect her award. Goldie decided to largely step away from acting in the mid-2000s to focus on her family and philanthropy work. She's been involved in various charities throughout her career and founded the Hahn Foundation in 2003, which is dedicated to providing education programs and resources for children. In her recent interview with Variety, Hahn revealed that while she's proud of the work she has done outside of acting, she still has a passion for the craft 
and wishes she had continued to pursue it. But luckily, she's now back in business and currently working on the film A Childhood History Plan. During the interview, she discussed how she missed the old days of Hollywood and how she regrets that everything has become politicized. She regrets the rise of cancel culture and harkens back to the earlier days when she began her career. Despite the fact that she wishes she worked a bit more, her legacy as a philanthropist is worthy of respect. She's a huge star but doesn't take stardom too seriously and enjoys her life. She loves being in front of the camera but also enjoys time behind the scenes with her family. Goldie Hawn's Legacy Goldie Hawn's legacy continues to inspire and influence future generations of actors and actresses. One of Hawn's greatest legacies is her ability to make people laugh. Throughout her career, she's been known for her comedic timing and infectious energy, which have made her a beloved figure among audiences. Her films, such as Cactus Flower, Private Benjamin, and The First Wives Club, continue to entertain and delight audiences to this day. She will certainly always be remembered for her comic talent. Goldie also founded the Han Foundation in 2003, which is dedicated to providing education programs and resources for children. The foundation has been successful in helping children in need, and it continues to make a positive impact today. But that's not all. Goldie Hawn's personal life has been a source of inspiration for many. She's been in a long-term relationship with actor Kurt Russell since 1983, and the two have been an example of a successful Hollywood relationship. She feels that marriage is a commitment that can restrict them. By remaining in a relationship, they're committed to each other while maintaining their freedom. Today, Han remains active in the entertainment industry, with her most recent project being the 2020 film The Christmas Chronicles 2. She's also a doting grandmother, with her daughter Kate Hudson having three children of her own. She and Kurt Russell have been vocal about their joy in being grandparents and have been seen spending time with their grandchildren on various occasions. Her entertainment career has largely slowed down, except for one upcoming project. Nevertheless, even at 77, she still seems to be full of energy. We hope to see a few more films from her and that she continues to pursue her dreams so that she doesn't have any further regrets. Goldie Hawn made her mark on the entertainment industry and in philanthropy, and we still haven't seen the last of her. One can expect her legacy will only continue to grow. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Goldie Hawn's? What do you think about her regrets and the fact that she's largely out of the limelight? What are your favorite Goldie Hawn roles? Let us know in the comments section below.